Well, good afternoon, guys. You two people, world everywhere, wherever, wherever. Back home. Got home today, Wednesday. Got home about about three o'clock. Um. Anyway, I uh, got a lot of parts in. Got some cool stuff. My brother sick. My brother gave me some parts or some tools. Cause he's pretty cool. Let's start with that. Let's start with some tools. So uh, I had to bring them over on an aeroplane. And uh, yeah, they were pretty heavy tools. Wash machine walked away. So he gave me this Milwaukee, Milwaukee Impact. It just has a boot on it. It's a fuel brushless. Half inch. Impact wrench. Anyway, he just had it rebuilt. Um, something in the brushes or something got burnt. So he took it in. Actually, I'm going to take this off because I'm going to clean it. Because he... Does a lot of greasy, nasty work. So, um, yeah, anyway, he gave me this because he bought a new one. So he had this one rebuilt because I don't think it was brushes. If I said brushes, I was wrong. It's not brushes, it's a brushless motor. So it doesn't have brushes. But anyway, um, he took it in, they rebuilt it, or he sent it out, had it rebuilt. Got it back, and he bought a new one. So, um, anyway, this one has the hog ring right there. And the one I have has this detent pin, which I can't stand. So, that detent pin right there, when you put these sockets on, with them on there, they're a pain in the butt to get off. So anyway, yeah, so, gave me that half inch, um, big impact, I don't know if this is the 1400, uh, foot-pounds of torque, I'm trying to look, doesn't really say anything, 700 RPMs. Um, anyway, the part number is the 2763-20. Anyway, he gave me that. He was actually using it when he gave it to me. And he's like, here, take it so that I can use my own. Then he gave me a 3 8 inch. 3 8 inch one. Um, because the same thing. He's got a brand new 3 8 Milwaukee that he needs to start using, he said. So he just let me have this one too. So this is a catalog number 2654-20. So, and the one thing that I tried giving him money for, which is what started all this, was this. So he bought two of these a long time ago. He bought one for him and one for one of his buddies. Um, and uh, he says he doesn't like it. He likes his snap-on one better. So it's a 3 8 inch ratchet. Catalog number 2557-20. So I'm assuming the, the dot dash 20 is the fuel brushless. Brushless. Because mine is... Not brushless, brushless. This is, oh, maybe not, I was wrong. This has a dash 202. Um, but anyway, that's, that's mine. That's the one I've been using forever and ever and ever. And I like it. And, uh, so now I got this one. Right here. Pretty, pretty dope. Turkey. 
So anyway, got a couple more tools in my collection uh, while I was in Colorado. So I'm going to clean them up. That's why I had them in bags because they were in my baggage, my luggage. I'm going to clean these up too. Just throw those in there and I'll clean those. Um, but pretty cool. Brother's pretty cool. My brother's awesome. Good guy. Gave me these three. Half inch. Three eighths. Three eighths ratchet. And, uh, yeah. And then I can do something with this one. This one can go somewhere or maybe I can see if I can't buy the, I think that's called an anvil. If I can't find the, see if I can find a anvil for that, but anyway. And we have, I guess this is basically the same one as the, the big one he gave me. But anyway, um, yeah, also came home, had a bunch of packages. As you guys know, I left off with Project Crack Pipe. Uh, took the brake pads, calipers, rotors, axles. So I got uh, brake pads right here. Ordered them all from Advanced Auto Parts. So, brand new brake pads with the uh, hardware kit. So I got the hardware kit, brake pads. Then we have the front rotors in here. And these are the lower ball joints. Um, the, wife, the wife opened them for me. She took some pictures. So, as you can see, they're the right lower ball joint compared to... Just put that there. Compared to this. So, anyway, as you can see, this is wrong, and this is right. So, ball joints, hardware, nuts and bolts, bolts and nuts, washers. And then, in here are the axles. So, they had a 25% off coupon. Just trying to see if there's my name or anything on here. No. Um, they had 25% off and up to $50 rebate for brake pads and rotors. So I've got to send, uh, send in a rebate for the pads and rotors. I think it was uh, $25 I get off on top of the 25%. So all this stuff from AutoZone was going to be about $425. And I think it was about 404 that's with tax and everything, through CarQuest. And uh, ended up being 300 I can't remember, 300 and like 19 bucks shipped. So then I got some wire loom, some smaller wire loom for the smaller wiring. Um, I am going to delete the EGR and uh, I guess looks like I'll be deleting basically this whole vacuum port is going to be deleted this wiring will be deleted EGR will be deleted and then uh, I can run the rest of this wire loom you know wires that are over here wires there uh yeah Oh, the boxes for brake pads. And then I bought some sticks of nylon. Because I'm going to take that out. I'm going to drill a hole in this. And uh, that'll be a uh, a couple mounts. So, it's three pieces for like 13 bucks. Um, And I think that's it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what I'll be doing on my off days... Which, by the way, if you don't know, if I didn't tell you, I'm going to Wisconsin next Tuesday. So I'll probably, obviously, going to clean up the toolbox, clean up some trash. Got projects that I'm going to do to the project crack pipe. Axles, brakes, brake pads, rotors, 
wiring and uh, axles. But I think that's it. Oh, and lower ball joints and then the upper ball joint. Upper and lower ball joint on the passenger side. And uh, yeah, if I get all that done, if I can get all that done in a timely manner, I'm going to try to wire up the dash or the cluster. Um, should be should be pretty easy. easy. I don't think it will. Could be. Might not. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it uh, for this video. So stay tuned for a lot of that. I will be using the tools my brother gave me. And uh, I'll let you know how much, how much easier life is with hog ring versus the detent pin. Or whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, I gotta go wash my hands now, go in the house, relax, and uh, get up early in the morning and start on it. Oh, also, one last thing, I have to extend the shock hoop, um, like I showed on one video with this stupid picture, but I'll do a video on it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some of those videos. And, uh, yeah, I still have the motor, the engine, the 6.7 Beast, 1,200 horsepower, 3,000 foot-pounds of torque motor right there because it's, a uh, painted burnt copper. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Thank you for subscribing. Do what you guys do. Later.